covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Researchers have found an updated version of Anarchy Grabber that steals victims' plain text passwords and infects victims' friends on Discord. Detected as Anarchy Grabber 3, the new Trojan variant modifies the, the Discord client's JavaScript core upon successful installation, and this modified version gives the malware the ability to load other JavaScript files. When the infected Discord client is opened, the threat loaded inject.js from a new uh, Anarchy folder. This file loaded another script called discordmod.js and the two scripts together logs the user out, at which point they are prompted to lock back in. The new Anarchy Grabber variant then attempts to disable two-factor authentication on its victim's account and steals information including their username, plain text password, and user token, which it sends to the attacker's own Discord server by a webhook. The malware also attempts to spread itself to other Discord users by sending a message that contains the malware to everyone on the user's friend list. After modifying the Discord client, Anarchy Grabber doesn't run again, which makes it difficult for antivirus software to detect the threat since there are no malicious processes. It also ensures that a victim remains part of the botnet whenever they interact with Discord using the app. Robbie, how can a user determine if they're infected if antivirus can't detect it? Well, Becca, uh, tech-savvy users can open the index.js file and then they can check the contents. So on Windows, you're going to find that in uh, its app data. Just wrap that in percent signs to get there really quickly and then you'll enter the Discord folder. Linux and Mac users go to the .config hidden folder in your home folder and within that you'll find the Discord folder holding all the files. Now on any architecture the files in from there are going to be the same so whether you're on Windows, Mac or Linux you'll note that uh, that there are many many files called index.js in the tree from that folder. Um, so the one that you're looking for is in um, discord underscore desktop underscore core and the directory format is your Discord version. Now in my case here on Windows, that's 0, 0.0.306, .0 so I enter that folder, then modules, then discord underscore desktop underscore core, and I can check the contents of the index.js file, and if it contains anything other than a command to require core.sr, it's probably infected. Thanks, Robbie. If you suspect infection, uninstall the Discord app and reinstall, Change your password and ensure 2FA is re-enabled if it's been turned off. Whether Discord, email, Facebook or otherwise, be diligent and ensure you only click links you know you can trust. Since malware like this spreads to friend lists, it's also important to remember that just because it's one of your trusted friends sending it doesn't mean you can automatically trust the links. A simple did you send this question could be all it takes to protect you, your account and your privacy.